because I do like writing a lot and I thought I needed a space for that. Some thoughts, some ideas, um, a little bit of sketching as well for some of the projects, the challenges that I um, join online. That's when I decided to try their Hobonichi weeks now where to put in all my ideas and I had this uh, very grand ambitious idea of uh, logging in everything that I spent and um, that quickly faded into a distant memory. Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Crafts. So we're going to take a little break away from all things ink and we are going to look into journal keeping or the notebooks that I use. Um, as I use up all the ink and the pens that um, I have been sharing. So um, I thought I would do it right now as I transition from my old stack or yeah, from what I've been using this year to maybe what I have decided to use moving forward. Okay, so I started off with the Traveler's Notebook sometime, um, well, early this year. And I started off with this one. Now I have been journaling for a long, long time, but I have been doing that on and off. And so my journals are just everywhere. Um, and then I decided that since I was using fountain pens, I might as well really consolidate everything. And so I got myself this traveler's uh, notebook in passport size. Um, since I haven't been really writing a journal for such a long time, I thought I'd start with something a bit uh, limited so that I didn't feel very, uh, what do you call that, guilty whenever I didn't write on uh, into my journal. And so I started with this, which is basically everything that had something to do with fountain pens. So it had uh, my ideas about fountain pens, my notes. This is when I was still learning the different parts of the fountain pen. And then I had this uh, very grand ambitious idea of uh, logging in everything that I spent and um, that quickly faded into a distant memory. I try not to review that so much. I also thought this would be a nice space for me to put in my swatches and so I documented my first few uh, inks uh, on this uh, into this swatch book. I actually have a setup for that. I'll link it up there. And uh, then I continued with this because I really, really liked um, how it looked. And I still do. But I got to the stage where I had just too many inks and I wanted to rearrange them or arrange them in so many ways that um, this felt a little bit too uh, daunting to just go through this and, you know, like, where is that green ink that I wanted? And I have to, like, really go through this all the time. So I thought maybe I need to sort of think about what to do moving forward. And so I did. Um, and I'll share with you in a bit how I decided to move forward with it. Oh, this is my um, like a commonplace notebook at that time. So I thought I just put them all into one place. And it was, uh, it worked well for me for a few months. Uh, but at some point it just got to be a bit too thick for me to carry around. I like I don't really like heavy bags. I like keeping them light. And so this was just a bit too hefty and a bit too um, cumbersome to bring with me everywhere. So I decided to start leaving this at home. Now, while this was happening, I thought all my ink stuff was here. I should have a separate one for work, which I also brought around with me. So you can imagine just how heavy my bag was. And that's when I got myself a Traveler's Notebook regular size. This was not it. My Traveler's Notebook regular size was the blue one, which I have now rehomed. Um, I've rehomed that because I got the Traveler's Diner and this became my um, notebook for or journal or planner for my workplace. And I like this setup a lot. This is the blue version of it, wherein you have the dates here and you can write notes here. And it really helped me a lot until this whole thing just became a bit too bulky for me and a bit too heavy. Um, having said that, I carry this around with me for some time, but I also stopped using it because it just was a bit too much for me to bring around as I went to my meetings. It was a little um, uncomfortable if I didn't have a table for me to just open it up and then just uh, 
uh, right on it. So yeah, so I stopped using this, although it was in my backpack for the longest uh, time. I'm thinking of uh, packing this up and this is why I thought I should do my little catch up before I start packing things away. Now, as I was doing that, I found my old journal of poems and I saw that I had a number of poems and I wanted to make sure that I put them all together into one place and I thought this was a perfect time for me to get a Hobonichi because I've been hearing a lot about how pretty the paper is and that was the time when I got this. And this by far is one of my fav most favorite setups. They ha it, I found this cover and it took me a long time to decide because I only got it, what, uh, February, March this year and so a lot of the covers were out and I was so, so lucky when I found this. I still think it's one of the prettiest covers that uh, I've seen on Hobonichi and so I got the Hobonichi notebook too. It's in the grid and I just spent so many hours looking for all my poems and these poems are like some of them are even decades old <laughs> and so I decided to just put them all into this one notebook and I don't have a lot of pages left actually. And so there and then I had this very special mini notebook for this mini a poetry book that I shared with my friends a long time ago. So when I got this, I fell in love with the Hobonichi paper and how pretty it looked. Um, and I was thinking, you know, I should start logging in, I should start journaling. And that's when I decided to try their Hobonichi weeks. Now I got this again, um, I think January, don't know, let me just see. There's a lot of like a little bit of personal stuff here, so I cannot show everything, but I do want to show you when I first started, I was so minimal. Oh, I started mm, sometime January, and this is how minimal my sticker keeping was. And then as you can see from the bulk and this very, very quick, very discreet um, flip through, it has gotten a bit bulkier. I've added uh, pictures and all of that into the fray. And so, and the part where I have my notes, that's where I put in, okay, let me see if I can share something. This is where I put in things that I've uh, decided looked really nice and thought I should like uh, think about. So it became some sort, of, some sort of a journal and commonplace book for me. I still like keeping it um, as my sort of memory keeper and um, a place for me to just vent and just uh, just basically unload stuff before I go to sleep at night. And I liked it so much that I have decided to go all Hobonichi week. So I'll get to that in a bit. Just uh, maybe one more thing to share. I've tried a lot of paper this year because I'm, I was trying to figure out what kind of paper I like. I used to use moleskin a lot when I journaled. I have a lot of the moleskins. That's what I use for my uh, ball pens. And um, But when I moved to fountain pens, I realized that they weren't so fountain pen friendly. So I had to shift. That's where I, I got the traveler's notebook in the first place. Um, and then I also thought that from these little notebooks where it's like a commonplace sort of um, what's this project kind of notebooks for me from Traveler's Notebook. This is the 005 lightweight paper. You see this a lot in my um, Instagram. Uh, this is a similar one to Moyu River as well uh, from Galen Leather. So I've also tried their paper. It's also fantastic. Old stink quite well as well but I thought they were just a little bit too small for me sometimes so um, I had the opportunity oops of trying the large term and so I got this large term and now it's some sort of like a commonplace notebook for me wherein I put in some projects some thoughts some ideas um, a little bit of sketching as well for some of the projects the challenges that I um, join online and uh, so far this has been working well for me. Um, as you can see, just as a page size comparison, there's just so much space. Can you see, actually? 
yeah, there's just so much more space for me um, compared to the Traveler's Notebook 005. Ooh, things fell. And the Galen Leather too. So there's just more like space for me to put things down and uh, it holds um, ink quite well as well. So you can see, even if I put a lot of ink, there's very minimal ghosting. Uh, sometimes though, there's feathering and uh, one other thing that I have an issue with is just the bulk. It's just so bulky. If I compare it, say, with the Hobonichi notebook that I got, you can see that, yeah, the bulk is just something that uh, throws me off a little bit. Um, but in terms of, like, the actual paper and, yeah, and the, the page size of it, this is a very good, large term is a very good... Uh, notebook to get so as you can see my everything was just like everywhere for me because I've been trying a lot of things as I went through the year and so when I was um, thinking about how to move forward to 2024 I had a few considerations for me one would be the size another would be the weight and of course the bulkiness of it and for my ink swatches, uh, I wanted something that was a bit more versatile in organizing because this um, just got a bit too like crazy, like everywhere for me. So one thing that I did first off was the ink uh, journal. So I really thought about how to do this. Oh yeah, I even have like notes about the my my pens here, right? Um, and I thought, what can I do to sort of help me organize all of this? And I thought a ring binder might work. And I got this crew fit ring binder. Okay, let me just move things without dropping it. Okay, so I got myself this crew fit ring binder. And it fits the Maruman paper. So Maruman loose leaf is a... Is paper made in Japan and it comes in A5. This is the A5 size. It's quite a big space for me. Um, if you have been watching my videos, you'll see that I do a lot of ink swatching on it. My purple inks and all of this. Oh, oops. It's also where I uh, log my pens. I have all the information that I want about my pens here and I can just arrange and rearrange any which way. I like and I also have my pen collections so it's quite a good space for me to organize everything ink so moving forward I think that in 2024 I'll keep to this in terms of my ink uh, journal and my pen journal so this was quite a good thing for me um, and also so that means I will be doing away with the ink swatches for my traveler's notebook um, but then I also have these notebooks and I thought that I would use my large term until it's all done and it's almost all done right and I am thinking of maybe either um, using a bit of this or because I still have a little bit left or maybe looking into getting a, another paper or notebook for this cover of Hobonichi uh, simply because the large term is just a bit too thick and bulky for me. So I want to do away with these little notebooks for now. So that means this is basically off. The only thing that um, is left for me to do, of course, is where to put in all my ideas for my uh, YouTube videos and my journals, uh, sorry, and my journals, yes, and my uh, pens, because this is where I used to put all of them in. So I still had that, so I had to keep that in mind. So this for my ink journal, and then I have this for my consolidation of poetry, and then, oops, I have a commonplace notebook that I still need to figure out like where I want to go with it. And this, I thought my Hobonichi week still needs to 
state within my night journaling sort of, um, what do you call that? Uh, okay, now I forgot the word. Well, you know, where I put my thoughts. So in line with that, for 2024, I bought the week's mega for it. So this will be for my night journaling for next year. Definitely keeping this. Um, so now the question, of course, is like, where do I put... Okay, so these, these will stay. So now the question is, where will I put um, all of the notes for my uh, work-related stuff? And this is where this comes in. When Hobonichi 2024 um, weeks came in, uh, when was it? September, I think. I got myself two of these weeks and I have started using one of them for work. So as you can see, though, I haven't really, um, I don't really have a lot yet in the months and all of that. So you can see, um, I have started using the notes section uh, for like things to do at work and all of that. So this part, this mega part of it is uh, really, really helpful for me right now. Um, and that's how I'm transitioning. So that's how I decided, or that's why I decided to put this away. And now it's really such a difference. May it really makes such a difference in terms of like weight and bulkiness. And even if it looks a lot smaller, as you can see, that also means it can fit into smaller bags and it doesn't have to be very heavy to carry around with me during meetings. It's easy to manage. Uh, basically, I just open it up and there I have a lot of space for me to write. Okay, so this will stay for work. As you can see, it's already like a little bit more customized. I have my stickers, I have the pen that I'm currently using. This will stay for night journaling. So that's how I am thinking of moving forward with it. And then I do want to think about uh, what kind of notebook I'll be using for my commonplace uh, notebook. Um, yeah, and then this will stay for my poetry and this for my ink. So I basically have this stack right now. And what's left for me to share with you is this little traveler's notebook. I know I said that they pretty much are bulky, but they're not if you decide to super limit what's on it so this one is something i always carry with me this is a traveler's notebook in olive um, and this is where i write all my poetry so as you will see i have like just scribbles here just things that i thought about um, actually this was born from one moment when i had this poem in my head and i recorded it into my phone and the recording was just so awful it came out really garbled and i thought if i had a notebook with me at that time i could have written it down and so i put this one together i think i shared how i set this up this is my special projects notebook i'll put it up there so put the link of how i put it up to how i put it together up there sorry really just thinking about a lot of things right now um and this has the galen leather um notebook in it and it just looks quite nice it's not so bulky given leather is a lot of pages um and so it is very very helpful the idea of course is that once i'm done with this notebook which would be quite soon um i will be moving some of the poems from here to here where i've decided to compile all my poetry and then i will just refill it with a a new notebook so it'll stay slim not so thick not so bulky um, and then it'll still keep the pen that I'm using which is currently my Parker Lucky Curve in and this stays in my bag so there you have it my current and uh, my plan 2024 is set up a Hobonichi weeks for my nightly journaling. Okay, this is my current one and this is what I will have next, both weeks. I have weeks as well for my work. And then for my commonplace 
a notebook currently it's Lloyd's term I'm still deciding what I'm going to use next for my poetry collection I have Hobonichi which is just lovely I really like it and for my inks I'll be using the Maruman system that I've just uh, shared having said all of that I thought that this coming year I want to explore just a few more uh, types of paper and one of them although this is not a new one this is a new addition to uh, my setup this is the uh, Galen leather notebook I got this from handwritten pen shop here in Jakarta and it's still quite blank as you can see and so the idea of course is for me to um, write my uh, stories here because I do like writing a lot and I thought I needed a space for that so this is joining um, the setup this year there are there yeah are two more notebooks that I do want to try so Gillen leather I kind of already know it but this is the old Tomoe and so I'm still experiencing it and exploring it but there are two more notebooks that I'd like to try and that's the Rubiki Hope that's how you say it note and I even have like a keeper for it and it's supposed to be like nice and thin and cream and so I don't know if this will fit my writing it seems a bit long but yeah I want to okay I can't do it right now uh, okay anyway so I'm planning to try this at some point and um, Inkshare also very nicely shared a storyboard with me this is from the endless collection i've tried the endless notepad before but they said that the regalia paper would be very good to use and so they very sweetly sent me this and so i want to try this paper as well so these are the two new okay i really want to put this in two new papers that i will be trying and uh basically that's my whole setup there's a lot of rambling going on in this video but i thought maybe it will help someone who is thinking about their setup for 2024 um so i still am keeping quite a number of what i started with which would be traveler's notebook and galen actually and then i am keeping a lot of the hobonichi which i super super uh, enjoy. I'll be using the Maruman paper because it is quite good. It's not very expensive too. And then I will be trying these two. I suppose before 2024, maybe not. I don't know. We will see. Um, so thank you for coming along with me for this chat. I hope that someone will find something here helpful. If you have questions, please don't hesitate in the comments below. Um, and if you have anything you maybe want me to just talk a bit more about, please also let me know in the comments below. This is Kai from Kikai Craft, and I hope that wherever you are, you're having a great day or a restful evening. Bye, everyone! Mm -hmm.